All right, welcome to a Dragon Ball Legends video. But instead of reacting to a trailer, for some unknown reason, they've decided to just crap out the link to Ultra Kid Boo's kit. Uh, I did say on Twitter that um, I'm absolutely praying to God that he's yellow. I'm absolutely praying to God that he's not cracked like the other Ultras are in this game. So I took a quick glance just to see, like just to see if this is legit and not, you know, a, fa uh, a fake. But no, this is legit. So you click on the link, it takes you to this website. So this is Ultra Boo Kid Abilities. New. Okay, apparently this says this Boo's mainstream can be summarized in one word. Recovery. Ah, okay. So yeah, he's going to have a lot of regen by the looks of it. He's got blast armor, card draw speed, and he nulls endurance. Oh god, okay. Uh and he gets a unique gauge over time. Lads. He's yellow! He's yellow! Let's fuck let's go! Finally, a yellow! Oh my god! You have no idea how happy this makes me. We've got finally got a, a really strong yellow unit coming. To finally destroy Gogeta. No more blue Gogeta in the meta. As long as this guy's around, we will be safe. And I'm so happy that this is the case. Okay, so, you know, his tags here. Regen, Absorption, Powerful Opponent, Magic Boost Saga. Yeah. Uh, so he's main. He draws an ult. He restores health by 25. He gets 40k. But not only that, he kills enemy health restoration. And card draw sp Wow, okay. That's actually a really good disrupt. Okay, so what's his Z ability? Uh, his max gives 5 to special move damage for regen. 42% to regen or powerful opponent strike attack and defense. Jesus. That's really strong. Okay, so if he's the ultra, if he's the leader, then... He'll get, you know, additional damage and key recovery. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, his strike attack. Wait. Minus 10% to sustain damage cut off it. Wow, okay. Okay, so all of his moves are designed to pierce through damage reduction. Wait. If the unique gauge is full, restore key and vanishing gauge, and even inflict no switching upon activation. What? Wait, so he uses the blue card and he gets his vanish back twice. He gets key back. He destroys cards. Oh god, okay. Yep, this is gonna be one of these units. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, he's definitely a hard count to go to. Yeah, just by this sentence alone. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So his green card, he nullifies cover change, and he converts uh, blast cards into strike cards. So when you're against like Ultra, Go Ultra Blue Gogeta, and his uh, gauge is full, and you've only got blast cards in your hand, you can just pop a green card and just, there you go, you're, you're sorted, you don't need to worry about it. Draw a special move arts card next on the kit if this character's unique gauge is full. Huh. I'll need to see how that works. So I, I I don't know. This is a uh, kind of funky. Uh, his ultimate he does explode damage, twenty percent of damage inflicted. He nullifies endurance, obviously. A portion of the damage inflicted will also he's got an AOE, and then he seals main mains for like five time accounts. Wow. Okay. Okay. So fill the unique gauge and get a massive. Level 2 card draw speed. Oh. Oh, that's that that that's um <laughs> that that is definitely something. 110% damage inflicted. Reduced damage received by 60%. That's normal. He has guaranteed level 1 card draw speed. Uh he again, yeah, he's he's one of these units that like uh penetrates through damage. It's a stat like cut damage sustained. Uh, so he's gonna be 
pretty much doing big damage because he cuts through like damage reduction. He has endurance as well. He has high health restoration. Uh, he can't get debuffed. So that's Rosé pretty much fucked over. Uh, gradually charges his own unique gauge over time while this character's on the field. Okay, so when the gauge is full, 30% damage inflicted. Okay. 140. Reduced damage received by 10%, so that's 70%. 5% minus 5 to car art casts. And a level 2 card draw speed, pretty much. Wait, if unique gauge is full after an enemy attack is over, it will reset to 0 and the following effects are cut. Restore health by 20%, reduce sub count, extra damage inflicted, and destroy enemy cards. Wow, okay. So this Boo, he's looking to be like really, really defensive based. Like, um, he, he seems like the type that he will, he'll do like bad damage at the start, but once he gets these like cards off, like penetrating for that damage cut, uh, I feel like he'll, his damage will ramp up, especially with the unique gauge. Uh, he has a cover change against strike cards. It restores health and key every time a card is drawn. What? Plus, when the enemy activates Rising Rush, recover your Vanishing Gauge by 100%, and when two allies are defeated, nullify enemy endurance. What? What? <laughs> what are they thinking? What is this? What is this? Uh, also, uh, not gonna, yeah, okay, cover change. Every time this character draws an arts card, he restores health by 2% and key by 10. What? That is ridiculous. With like level 2 card draw speed, he's just going to be constantly healing. What? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, applies the following effects to self every time this... Yeah. And he stacks up damage. Yeah, he's he's busted. Not only can he cut through like damage cut, but he, he also stacks damage and ultimate afflicted. Yeah, he's just busted. He's ridiculous. And then the following occurs when enemy activates Rising Rush. What Rising Rush, my mistake. While this character is on the battlefield. And he oh, it's only once. Okay, that's not too bad. But still, that's like one rush and he just guaranteed to get to avoid it. And then applies the following effects to self when two allies are defeated. His unique gauge is guaranteed 100 percent and he nullifies endurance. Guaranteed. Like unconditionally, endurance doesn't matter to him. I don't know. Guys, I, I looked at Kid Boo's art, like this Kid Boo's art, and I was really not impressed. And I was worried they're gonna fumble him, but no, he's just, yeah, he's just ridiculously good. Like he's he's pretty much a, a brick wall, but his damage is ramping up over time, and he heals with every card you draw. So, yeah, <laughs> um, Kid Boo, Ultra Kid Boo, he's definitely gonna be cracked. And Ultra Gogia, thank God. He's no more. I'm so happy about that information. I, I cannot stress this enough how annoying Ultra Gogia has been on the meta. So for someone to have, for someone to be the direct counter team pretty much is just a, a dream come true, honestly. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of Kid Boo or Ultra Kid Boo, I should say. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, the events that are going on in Legends right now are kind of eh. Like they're not really too interesting. Like, yeah, you got the space time rush. Got unique equip for Super Saiyan 3. So I will finish on this uh, on Kid Boo's card up. Let me know what you guys think uh, of Ultra Kid Boo. I think he's pretty cracked, and I think he's going to take the meta by storm. Especially carrying regen, which has been a dead team for the longest time. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to see you all in the next video of mine. I just wanted to make record this quickly. Uh, just to cover Ultra Kid Burst since I do a reaction to each Ultra all the time. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.